Former President Donald Trump is facing more than 30 counts related to business fraud tied to an indictment from a Manhattan grand jury. So he's expected to be arraigned in criminal court in New York on Tuesday afternoon. The indictment is not expected to be unsealed before then, but sources say the prosecutors are weighing whether to charge him with either falsifying business records or falsifying a record with intent to commit another crime. And tonight, 11 Lives Kara's Belger is going to break down the differences between that Manhattan case and the separate investigation involving uh, the former president here in Fulton County. The New York case focuses on hush money former President Donald Trump allegedly paid to cover up extramarital affairs. The Fulton County one centers on whether Trump and his allies broke any laws while allegedly trying to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election results. In that case, no one has been indicted yet, but there are indications they could be soon. Investigations can often take a lot of time, particularly if they are especially complex. GSU law professor attorney Anthony Michael Christ says unlike the case brought by the Manhattan District Attorney, the investigation led by Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis is more linear. It is unlawful under Georgia state law to intimidate or harass an a worker uh, at, a, at a polling place. It's also unlawful to interfere with an election. The indictment recently brought by the Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg specifically focuses on allegations that Trump and his businesses made payments during the 2016 presidential campaign to cover up affairs. It could be the business records. There might be some campaign finance questions there. There may very well be other tax related issues. We know from subpoenas, multiple people are under investigation in the Fulton County case. And while only part of the Fulton County Special Purpose Grand Jury report has been released, it shows the jury believes one or more witnesses may have committed perjury. What's unknown is who could face charges, with the Fulton County DA saying weeks ago that a decision was imminent. Trump has denied any wrongdoing in both cases and claims both investigations are attempts to damage his 2024 presidential run.